What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my PlayStation wrap up for 2021. Let's get right into this. So I'm really excited for this year for this PlayStation wrap up to see my stats for the past year. Now, if you don't know what the PlayStation wrap up is, it basically gives you a breakdown of all of the top games that you played, the games you played the most of, the trophies you earned, basically all of your accomplishments and gaming stats for the previous year. Now, the one thing I want to mention, it is not a complete calendar year. It is not from January 1st to December 31st. It is January 1st to about the first or second week of December. And the reason that that is their cutoff is because they need time to gather everybody's stats and put it onto that year's website because they redesigned the look of the wrap up every single year, which is really, really cool. So it ends about the first or second week of December. I myself keep track of all of the stats that I earned in the complete calendar year. So it's interesting every year to see how close the stats that PlayStation wrap up has calculated versus how much I know I have done throughout the entire year, including the end of December, which usually isn't included in this here. I know this past year I have gotten 25 platinum trophies and just over a thousand total trophies on my trophy count list. And right now I'm over 5,000 trophies total. So I hope that it is as close to that as I can. Last year was a little way off in my opinion. Hopefully this year is a little closer now. Also, I will leave this link down below so you can check your stats out on the PlayStation wrap up for yourself for the past year, but let's just get into it. So first off, I'm going to be looking on my phone here. I will leave the uh, computer version up on here and we're just going to go along as I'm talking through everything that I see here. So the first thing I want to mention is this year's wrap up is amazing. The design looks really, really cool. I'm going to go down. The first thing that it shows is last year that I played 841 total hours for the entire year, which is amazing. All of my stuff was on the PlayStation 4. Obviously, I've yet to get the PlayStation 5. For the next couple months, I'm on the hunt for PlayStation 5. I'm planning on getting one, hopefully very soon, but we will see when I do get it, and I will share that in a video with you guys. I'm gonna keep going here. A breakdown of my total hours. Local play is 770 hours. Online is only 71 hours and a huge reason for that is I don't game online as much as I did because right now I don't game with Jack a whole lot. Jack doesn't get on the system a lot like he used to back in the day. So right now most of the time I do play a lot of solo games, uh, finishing off games that are my backlog and earning trophies along the way. The only online games I play is either whenever he does get on I play with him or some other ones if I want to try to finish off trophies, like for example, Battlefield this past year to grind out the last remaining trophies. I had to play a lot of online, so that is why there's only 71 hours online compared to 770 local play. Total days played is 263 days which is really high, but I expected it to be a lot higher. I tried to game at least an hour or two every day just to at least have fun, just relax and enjoy myself. So most of the time with my gaming and that, usually before work, I'll try to play at least an hour or on my days off, again, at least an hour. But this past year, I did go on a trip. We did go out of town a couple times. We did go and see my parents a lot. So that does make sense why it's not as high as I thought it should be. Gonna keep going here. It does say about uh, Death Stranding, which I do not have, so none of those stats do matter for me. In 2021, I played a total of 88 different games. I can't remember how much, uh, what that number was for last year, but this does seem really high. A lot of that is clearing off, again, a lot of my backlog, trying out some of the free PS Plus games, and checking out some other games that I got on discount on the PlayStation Store as well. For my top games, uh, this year, they're doing the top five games that I've played. Last year, and I think the year before, I think they only did the top three. But this makes complete sense to me. I was trying to guess before sitting down and recording this video what my top game for 2021 was going to be for one that I played the most of. And I never even thought of this game. And that is WWE 2K20. Again, I know a lot of people had problems with it. Last year, there wasn't a new game released and the game for 2022 was delayed, so it never came out last year. It is coming out March 11th. 
So this game here, I know a lot of people had a lot of bugs, glitches, problems with it. Everything that I used for the game worked for me. My custom superstars, my custom championships, universe modes. Sometimes it did crash, but nothing really affected my gameplay too much. And I still got to play a lot of the game playing through universe mode and just having a blast with it. So in total, that is 92 hours just on that game alone, which is a lot. The second game is honestly one that I thought might be up there with number one. And that is with Apex Legends, 62 hours. Now, before, this is the game that I played solely with Jack. This past year, I played it solely myself, just going in random matches, and I did get a ton of wins, had a lot of fun, and made some videos on that with you guys. This is a game that I do hope to live stream once again, and I hope to bring more videos of it on the channel because I just have a blast with the game. The problem with me is I take such a long break whenever it comes to this game, Whenever I come back, it does take me a little bit of time to get back in the groove of things. And then by the time I feel like I'm good again, then I take another lengthy break as well. Game number three with 61 hours is Battlefield 5, which makes sense because I was grinding out trying to get the platinum and I finally did. It did take a lot of hours and a lot of work to be able to get that platinum trophy. Then we have surprisingly number four, NBA 2K20 with 60 hours. That to me doesn't seem accurate. I don't remember playing it that much. I remember playing uh, career mode a little bit and a little bit of GM, but just when I bought it, not much throughout the year. Honestly, I thought NHL 20 would have been on this list because I remember playing it a whole lot more than I did NBA. And number five is Car Mechanic Simulator with 44 hours. I did grind out to go and get the Platinum Trophy for this game. I thought it was a good game. It's one of the best simulator games that I've played. And it is surprising that it's on my list, but it does make sense because I did play it a lot this past year. Scrolling down now, this past year, according to the PlayStation Wrap Up, I have added 991 trophies this past year, which like I said at the beginning of this video, I know it was over a thousand trophies from January 1st to December 31st. But of course for PlayStation wrap up, it cuts off the first or second week of December so they can gather everybody's stats. So I know it is higher than this, but they do have my platinum trophy count for this past year, correct? This past year, I know I did earn 25 trophies, uh, 25 platinum trophies, and it does say that as well. It also breaks down everything, so that's really cool. So 25 platinum trophies, 180 gold trophies, 262 silver, and 524 bronze. That seems accurate. I know the platinum one is 100% correct because I keep track of that every year and I do make a video sharing my platinums for the past year, not for bragging rights, but to just showcase basically what platinums I earned this past year. But the total 991 trophies for the whole year, that one's a little off, but a lot better than last year, honestly. For PlayStation Plus this past year, there was 37 games that was added and available for people to download and play. Out of those 37 games, I only downloaded and played 13 of them, which is only 35% of the monthly PS games that they add to the store. A lot of them this past year were not of interest to me. I only downloaded the ones that were of interest to me. So again, 35% of my PS Plus subscription was that, but I also keep the PS Plus subscription because I do like to play online. Sometimes, again, I do play a lot of locally and a lot of solo games, but it is nice to play online games once in a while too and keep my stats up to date. Going down to the bottom, uh, that is actually the end of this year's stats. So at the bottom, whenever you scroll right to the bottom, it does say get your reward. This one here I've already claimed, so I'm not gonna click it and show you guys, but it does give you those four avatars on the top which the only one I might use would be Ratchet and Clank, but I have yet to play that game. So I don't know if I'm going to go and download that one and use that as my avatar because I have yet to play that game. That's on the PlayStation 5. The other games I have never played, probably never will. The Ratchet and Clank one, maybe when I get a PS5, but right now I'm not even gonna bother using that as my avatar. I'm just gonna stick with last year's avatar for the 2020 PlayStation wrap up. But so far for my stats for this past year, for this year's wrap up, 
I thought was amazing, a little bit more accurate than last year's, but still a little off from a total trophy count. But again, that is because it ends in the first or second week of December. It's not the entire calendar of year. And this year they actually did release this a lot earlier than they did last year. Last year's was mid-February. This one here was mid-January, so a month earlier than they did last year, which I can honestly respect. But I will leave this link down below so you can sign in with... Uh, your PlayStation account and you can go and check your stats and see where you stand with your gaming stats for 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please take care. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.